Hey guys, how's it going? Welcome back to another Lightroom editing tutorial. So in today's video, I'm going to be showing you how to create these insane tones as you see in the examples of these pictures on the screen right now. So I'm going to be showing you how to make use of complementary colors and how to achieve and bring these colors out in Lightroom. So in saying that, let's just jump straight over there and get started with the tutorial. So coming over to Lightroom, I've selected just a few of my own photos and you'll notice that most of them are taken at sunset. This style works very well and I've also created a few presets as well that will be available after this episode, but they work very well with sunset pictures as there is color in those pictures already. So it's a lot easier to edit. So as I said, I'm just going to work with this one for the tutorial and we'll just jump straight into it. I am going to start with the basic settings over here and I'm going to bring up the contrast to about 22 just to give it that nice punchy kind of look. I'm going to bring the highlights down to about minus 35 just to retain the detail in the sky in the background and then I'm going to bring the shadows quite high maybe to like 60, 70 around there somewhere. We will compensate for this in the tone curve though so don't worry about it too much. We can also compensate for this by bringing down the blacks to about minus 25 just to keep the blackness in the shadows and not have it too faded out and gray. Next I'm going to leave the clarity where it is. Now for the vibrance to make these tones really pop I'm going to bring the vibrance all the way up to 100 but then I'm also going to bring the saturation down to about minus 25 just so that it doesn't look too oversaturated and just gross. So instead of going to the tone curve next I'm going to jump down to the camera calibration and this is kind of where the magic happens for this kind of style. So to start off I'm going to bring the red hue all the way to about 40 and we can just see how this already starts to change the tones of the pictures. I'm going to bring the green hue to about 50 and then lastly this is where it really starts to pop I'm gonna bring the blue hue all the way down to the left to about minus 70 and we can already see how the colors start to come out and change the tones of the picture from here I'm gonna to go to the HSL just to emphasize those colors once again and bring it out I'm gonna start with the hues so I think the reds and the oranges look pretty good at the moment I might just bring the yellows down a little bit into more of the orange zone and I'm gonna bring the blues into more of that aqua color as well next go Going on to saturation, I don't think we need to mess with this too much. I think the picture is already quite saturated already, but I'm just going to bring the oranges up a little bit just to make that stand out as it is the main color. Might just bring the blues up ever so slightly as well. And then lastly, the luminance, I am going to make the oranges a bit darker. This is just my preference for the photo. It's up to you again. The, the color play is all really up to you and what kind of colors you want to achieve in your look. So there's no right or wrong answer in doing this. I'm going to bring the blue luminance up as well to about 35 and that should be good for the HSL tab. Okay, now jumping into the tone curve and we can see how this will immediately make the photo look a hundred times better just because tone curves do that. I don't know why, but it does. So I'm going to start with just making the basic S curve, bringing down the shadows and just bringing up the highlights. Maybe just bring the tail end down a little bit, keep the blacks in here, bring that a bit darker. There you go, that's looking good for me. So for this picture, I am also going to edit the individual RPG channels and if we jump over to the red, uh, you can just play around with this as well. Again, this is all up to you and the colors that you want to achieve in your photos. I am going to bring this red tone curve up slightly like this just to make a nice, a very simple curve because if you want to go ahead and mess with the individual channels too much, it can really destroy your picture rather than making it look cool. I feel like the individual channels are a lot stronger than the main tone curve. So I'm going to leave the red over there. Going on to the green, I am going to bring the green down a bit actually just to give a bit more of a pinkish tone in the highlights. Not too much, just about there looks right for me. And then we're gonna do a very similar thing with the blue, just drop a point on the tail end over here so it doesn't affect the tail. And then I'm gonna drop the blues down and maybe just even drop the top of the tone curve over here, fade that out a bit. And there we go, that looks good to me. I am now going to move over to the split toning. And to start, I think I wanna put a bit of pink in the highlights. So I'm gonna go over to the 300 range, somewhere over there, maybe even 290s, and just bring the saturation up to about 21. And in the shadows, I think that I wanna have some blues in the shadows. So I'm gonna click on the blue color that it's already given us and bring that down to about 10, 11, somewhere in that range. And then lastly, on the effects tab, I'm gonna bring the vignetting down just just a little bit just to give it a bit more focus on the middle of the picture not too much maybe even like minus seven somewhere over there 
Okay, so we have gone through all the settings now, and now it's kind of just like basic corrections. And I think just looking at this right now, I need to bring up the exposure just a little bit. So I'm gonna hit the plus key on my keyboard and I'll bring up the exposure. That looks good for me. And the picture is looking really good. So we can see how the tones just start to pop out in the clouds over here, as well as in the water reflecting on the floor. Now what you can do to take this picture a step further is use your graduated and radial filters. So what I'm going to do is click on the radial filter which is this tool over here and I'm just going to drag a circle over the sun here because I want to add even more color to this photo just adding more interest and I want to make this more of a yellow rather than having a singular orange color. Also I think the sun is very overexposed in that area so I'm going to bring down the highlights just a bit. Not too much you don't want to make it look unnatural and make it look like that so <laughs> not that this photo is natural already but you know what I mean. So I'm going to bring the highlights down to about minus 37 and then like I said I want to make this a bit more of a yellow color so I'm going to go over to the colors click on the yellow that is given you you might even have to compensate and bring it a bit more into the green side to get that yellow hue just to balance it out there we go that looks good for me we hit enter on there now we can see that we've got more yellow in the sun as opposed to having one large flat orange area i think the figure in the middle also needs to be a bit darker so i'm going to drag a radio filter over that make sure that the exposures are not and i am going to drag the shadows down just so that she is more silhouetted and the focus can really be placed on the emphasis of the colors and the clouds surrounding it and there we go that is how to create epic tones in your pictures what you can do to take this a step further, again, this is all up to you. You can go crazy with all these different filters. You could take a graduated filter and just drag it over the sky over here, change the temperature, and just go absolutely crazy on this. So, yeah, as you can see, there's so many different things you can do with the filters and you can just have fun and see what you can create. So as I mentioned in the beginning of this tutorial, I've already created five presets that really focus on this use of making the tones pop in the pictures. So each preset has a different style that makes different tones pop. So I've created these for you guys to download and use and I'll just go through the photos and show you how they look on each one. So just starting right from the beginning, I just want to say that it's not going to be a one click preset you're going to have to apply it and then adjust the settings accordingly as you can see this is a bit underexposed so all you would have to do is bring up the exposure and maybe bring down the highlights of this just to compensate for the clouds but then again there are five other presets four other presets so this one might not work specifically for this picture so i think my favorite one for this picture would be p5 which is pop of five i decided to call the preset pack popper just because it's like a pop of colors so p5 works the best for me it's got this really candy floss kind of feel to it and i just love it you can also choose like p4 or something bring that up and it adds a nice red and blue contrast to the picture bring up the shadows and there we go that is looking much better already moving on to the next one this is more of a darker sunset feel and in my opinion something like p2 would work best for this one so if we click on p2 you can see that it applies it to the photo and again all we need to do is bring up the exposure just to compensate for that and then bring down the highlights as well just to retain the detail in the sky p4 also looks really nice on this photo just looking at another quite dark sunrise photo this was taken at sunrise on cliff corner in cape town and again i would say that p2 probably works best for this one so we can apply that just bring up the exposure most of these presets will make the photos quite dark just because of the way the tone curve is set up uh, but like i said you just bring up the exposure maybe bring up the shadows and there we go again tones are popping everywhere the colors look amazing and i just think it looks really really good so lastly i'm just going to show you this photo which is kind of the perfect example photo to apply all the presets to because this is like a one click photo so i'm just going to apply all the presets and show you the different color tones that come out with each preset so if we apply p1 we can see that it is the one that we've created already just giving you a nice combination of all these different colors just look at that look at the difference between the before and after how much the colors pop out of this picture it's pretty crazy p2 is more focused on the oranges and blues and kind of ignores all the other colors p3 is a lot more focused on the greenish aqua kind of blue um, in contrast to the pink tones p4 as i've said already is a lot more focused on the royal blue in contrast to the the reds 
and P5 is just this really nice candy floss kind of feel to your photos. So I think they all look really good. So if you'd like to check these out for yourself, I have left a link down in the description, which will take you to a site called filterpro.co, which is an online marketplace for creators to sell their own presets. So I've uploaded this preset pack today. You can check it out. You can look at the before and after examples in more detail if you'd like to check them out. And yeah, that is going to conclude today's tutorial there. I hope you guys have enjoyed it. Any support on this video or on these preset packs would mean the world to me and everything that I make from these preset packs goes straight into this channel and more creations for you guys. Just lastly, if you'd like to check out my own Instagram account, it is at visualrev over on Instagram. So head over there, come say hi, tag hashtag YouTube squad in the comments and I'll definitely come check out your profile. Again, thank you so much for watching. If you did like this video, please do leave a like. I hope you have learned something. If you're new to this channel, please hit the subscribe button for new Lightroom editing tutorials every single week. And in the meantime, stay weird, don't die, and make it happen. I'll see you guys in the next one.